Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Alexander Nix, and today I present to you SCP-6995. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures To prevent instances of SCP-6995 from reoccurring, the Foundation will encourage the legalization and regulation of recreational cannabis throughout the United States via front organizations and covert funding of cannabis legalization initiatives. In the event that SCP-6995 manifests outside the United States in the future, the Foundation will use similar non-anonymous methods to encourage jurisdictions surrounding the manifestation location to legalize and regulate cannabis as well. Foundation agents embedded in the United States cannabis industry are currently monitoring select adult-use dispensaries for reoccurrences of SCP-6995. Any SCP-6995 instances found are to be confiscated prior to sale. A semi-permanent containment team has been assigned to Ontario, Oregon due to high volume of SCP-6995 instances that manifest there. Update as of January 24, 2021. Any SCP-6995 instances sent to Foundation sites are to be destroyed via incineration. Consumption by personnel is strictly prohibited and may lead to a demotion to D-Class personnel. Description SCP-6995 is an anomalous strain of cannabis indica that displays antimimetic properties whenever cultivated or consumed in jurisdiction where possession, consumption, and or cultivation of recreational cannabis is illegal. SCP-6995 takes the form of any number of retail consumer cannabis products such as flowers, seeds, edibles, vapor pens, and or cartridges. These are branded as being produced by the company Cannabincognito. All instances are labeled with the strain slash flavor name Cannabincognito OG. No such company has ever been known to exist in any jurisdiction where medical or recreational cannabis is illegal in the physical location, if any, where SCP-6995 instances are produced has yet to be found. When a person consumes an SCP-6995 instance in any jurisdiction where the act is illegal, the SCP-6995 instance and any byproduct of its consumption, such as smoke and or vapor, will remain entirely undetectable by all observers. Perception of the subject will be altered via anomalous means to exclude SCP-6995 instances. Use of non-anomalous smoking materials to consume SCP-6995 instances results in the perception that the subject is consuming tobacco instead. Additionally, SCP-6995 instances display a secondary antimimetic effect that is active at all times. Said effect renders SCP-6995 instances undetectable under all circumstances. Although the secondary effect is not as precisely measurable as the first, persons with the following traits are known to be susceptible to it. All active members of local, national, and international law enforcement organizations and jurisdiction where recreational cannabis is illegal individuals who strongly oppose the legalization and or use of cannabis for recreational purposes, individuals who find cannabis personally distasteful, and individuals who feel strongly compelled to report all crimes to local law enforcement regardless of severity. SCP-6995 instances manifest at adult-use cannabis dispensaries that border jurisdictions where recreational cannabis is illegal. When questioned, employees will claim the products were delivered as part of a recent wholesale purchase but will be unable to recall the details of said purchase. Employees will stock SCP-6995 instances with other similar products but will display no knowledge of their anomalous properties and will not attempt to compel customers to purchase Canna Incognito products in place of other brands. Locations where Canna Incognito products have been acquired include Bingen, Washington, on December 22, 2014, 3.5 grams of dried cannabis flour. This is the first known SCP-6995 instance. 
Reoccurrences of SCP-6995 instances at Bingen dispensaries ceased in October of 2015 when adult-use cannabis dispensaries opened in Oregon. Antonio, Colorado, on April 3rd, 2016. One gram of concentrated cannabis vapor cartridge. Huntington, Oregon, on March 31st, 2018. Five cannabis cookies shaped similar to question marks. West Wendover, Nevada, January 22nd, 2020. Cannab Incognito branded glassware used for concentrated cannabis consumption, also known as dabbing. Non-anomalous when used with cannabis products that are not SCP-6995 instances. Ontario, Oregon, 2019 to the present day. Numerous instances all at dispensaries within the city. Currently the location where SCP-6995 instances most frequently manifest. Extensive testing has confirmed that SCP-6995 instances display no anomalous properties besides their antimimetic capabilities, with the THC strength varying from 30 to 20% in flower products and 75 to 95% in concentrated products. No means have been found to prevent instances of SCP-6995 from reoccurring aside from the legalization of adult-use cannabis sales in jurisdictions that border its manifestation locations. To date, all SCP-6995 instances have ceased to manifest once dispensaries had appeared and began to border a jurisdiction where cannabis could be legally purchased. The following is an experiment log of experiments conducted on SCP-6995. Subject, D-Class 237611. Location, United States Highway 285, New Mexico near the Colorado State Line on May 24th, 2016. Result. Subject is instructed to consume cannabis flour 10 minutes before driving. Subject was then pulled over by state police due to a taillight that was broken for the purposes of the experiment. Despite being visibly impaired and smelling strongly of cannabis, subject is treated sober and fully alert by responding officer. Successful baseline test. Subject. Senior researcher Martinez in Central Park, New York City, New York, USA. Date, the spring through summer of 2017. Result, researcher Martinez cultivates seven cannabis plants derived from SCP-6995 seed instances via the use of Class W amnestics. All plants are cultivated in open view and frequently tended to. Odor emanating from the plants is only detectable by researcher Martinez, and he is perceived as cultivating non-cannabis plants. Despite local prohibitions on personal plant cultivation in Central Park, observers do not find the activity noteworthy. Subject D-Class 991327 in Tokyo, Japan on October 21st, 2018 Result Subject takes SCP-6995 instance through LAX airport in Los Angeles and boards a flight to Tokyo, Japan. After arriving, subject openly consumes the flower instance of SCP-6995 in the interior of Haneda Airport and remains undetected. Successful international baseline test. Subject, D-Class 432777 in Chicago, Illinois on 23.55 on December 31st, 2019 until 005 on the 1st of January, 2020. Result. Subject begins consuming SCP-6995 instance before midnight on December 31st and finishes five minutes after midnight on January 1st. January 1st is when recreational cannabis became legal in Illinois. Researchers are unable to perceive D-Class 432777 from 2355 to 2359, but anomalous properties of SCP-6995 instance cease and the subject becomes visible at precisely midnight. Test confirms the properties of SCP-6995 directly correlate to effective date laws. Addendum 
On January 19, 2021, a series of containers branded with the Cannab Incognito logo arrived at four separate Foundation sites via internal mailing networks. Each box contained a 1 gram cartridge of concentrated cannabis, with the logo on the individual boxes being replaced with an extended middle finger. Inside each box was a note reading, quote, to the assholes stealing our product, end quote. Laboratory testing of cartridges revealed each cartridge contained dangerous levels of vitamin E acetate, a cutting agent found in some non-regulated vapor cartridges believed to be the primary cause of vaping-associated pulmonary injury, aka VAPI. All known instances of SCP-6995 purchased at adult-use dispensaries do not contain this alteration. Five cartridges were kept for testing purposes and the remainder were destroyed via incineration. Containment procedures updated to account for potential cannabis incognito shipments to Foundation sites. I have been Dr. Alexander Nix, signing off.